Meta in 2023, what to expect? On October 28th, 2021, Facebook rebranded itself as Meta Platforms. Since that fateful day, Meta stock has dropped by more than 60% repeatedly disappointing investors with sluggish growth for net expending and hazy future plans. Rising interest rates and other macroeconomic headwinds aggravated the agonizing sell-off. The crash shocked many investors who considered Meta a dependable blue-chip tech stock. So what future does Meta hold and what can we expect from it in 2023? Let's find out and if you want more Meta updates or trends, subscribe to MetaHub now. Here we begin. What are the top 5 meta trends? More advanced avatar technology. Many visions of the metaverse involve us adopting avatars to represent ourselves in the digital world. As we are accustomed to playing video game characters or expressing our persona on social media, the avatar is the presence we can project as we engage with and interact with other users. They may resemble us, cartoon characters, or something completely fantastic that could never exist in the real world. Meta initially offered only very basic cartoon-like avatars which were widely mocked, but has recently developed nearly photorealistic technology that will allow us to look almost exactly like we do in real life. VR and AR The concept of immersive, experiential technology is central to the metaverse. Whatever it turns out, it will be more engaging than the digital worlds we are accustomed to today. As a result, many ideas for how we will interact with it involve immersive technology like virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed and extensive reality. Meta has built its vision of what the next level of the internet will look like around virtual reality and new versions of its hugely popular Quest VR headsets, as well as new VR, AR, and MR headsets from companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft, all available in 2023. Although not everyone agrees that entering the metaverse will necessitate the attachment of displays to our heads, it is undoubtedly one of the approaches to creating immersive experiences generating the most interest, and 2023 will bring a slew of new developments on the field. Beyond headsets, we can expect to see new developments in full-body haptic suits, already used by organizations like NASA and SpaceX to simulate extreme environments, but will also be used to create more realistic and immersive consumer metaverse experiences. In addition, several startups are experimenting with the technology that can bring smells into our virtual worlds. Web3 and Decentralization One vision of the metaverse's eventual shape revolves around decentralization. According to Web3 supporters, distributed ledgers and blockchain technology will give rise to a new internet free of control of global corporations, which will no longer have the power to censor opposing viewpoints or pull the plug if they want to take someone offline completely. This vision is based on decentralized metaverse platforms like the Sandbox and Decentralized, which will be organized as DAOs in the future. In addition, purchasing ownership rights will allow individuals to have a say in how the organization building the virtual domain operates, eventually establishing virtual democracies and user-owned communities. Another aspect of the decentralized metaverse is NFTs. These are one-of-a-kind tokens that exist on blockchains, just like non-unique tokens like cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, and can be used to represent one-of-a-kind online goods or commodities. Nike, Adidas, and Forever 21 have used this technology to create digital goods that their owners can wear, trade, and display in the metaverse. Clarks, another footwear brand, recently announced an online tournament using the Roblox platform where users can win exclusive virtual goods. The Corporate Metaverse the metaverse concept is likely to merge with the concept of the digital twin, virtual simulations of real-world products, processes, and operations that can be used to test and prototype new ideas in the safe environment of the digital domain. Designers are recreating physical objects inside virtual worlds where their efficiency can be stress-tested under any conceivable condition, without the resource cost that testing them in the physical world would have in the first place. Another application of metaverse technology in the business world will be for training, onboarding, and other tasks. Accenture, for example, created the nth floor. This metaverse environment features replicas of real-world offices and allows employees and new hires to conduct various HR-related functions within the virtual world. Metaverse is a new marketing channel. Marketing and advertising, like search engines and social media, will fuel Web3, the metaverse, into the mainstream. Although the concept has yet to fully develop, companies ranging from international finance behemoths like HBSC to JP Morgan to global lifestyle and fashion behemoths like Nike and Gucci have staked their claim and begun to build their metaverse presence. 
We know that consumers are always looking for new and more engaging ways to connect with brands that they want to do business with. Another communication channel is the metaverse, focusing on customer experience and one-to-one -one connections. Crucially, unlike social and search, which have been largely monopolized by Google and Meta, there is still a lot of play for. As a result, businesses will go all out over the next 12 months to position themselves in prime virtual locations, whether by building their own platforms or occupying existing arenas like Meta Horizons, Fortnite, VRChat, or Decentraland. Nobody knows the winning strategy, but one thing is certain, you must be in it to win it. Besides these trends, Meta says it will lose more money in the metaverse in 2023. Meta's foray into the metaverse has proven even more costly a year later. Reality Labs is losing money faster than ever before, according to Facebook's parent company in its most recent earnings report. Reality Labs, the division in charge of the company's virtual and augmented reality projects, lost $3.7 billion in the third quarter of 2022, up from $2.6 billion the previous year and $2.8 billion the previous quarter. So far, in 2022, Reality Labs has lost more than $9 billion. And according to the company's finance chief, that trend is unlikely to continue anytime soon. This is significant because Meta's massive investment in Reality Labs has already cost the company more money. Meta reported it lost $10 billion in 2021 in Reality Labs earlier this year. The company also confirmed that the next generation of the Consumer Quest headset will be released later next year, implying a Meta Quest 3. However, CEO Mark Zuckerberg stated that investing in the next computing platform is still a top priority. This is a massive undertaking and will frequently take several versions of each product before they become mainstream, he explained. However, he believes that the work will be here, laying the groundwork for a new way to interact with one another and integrate technology into our lives. At the same time, he warned that the company might face near-term revenue challenges. According to Zuckerberg, the company's revenue for the quarter was $28 billion, which was in line with analyst expectations but still behind where he thinks they should be. Zuckerberg also confirmed Meta will continue to reduce hiring as revenue growth slows. Some teams will grow significantly, but the majority of other teams will remain flat or shrink over the next year, he predicted. In aggregate, we expend to end 2023 roughly the same size, if not slightly smaller than we are today. In contrast, Meta's family of apps has expanded, and Zuckerberg announced new milestones for both Instagram and WhatsApp. WhatsApp now has 2 billion daily active users, and in comparison, Instagram has 2 billion monthly active users. There's been a lot of speculation about engagement in our apps, he said, and what we're seeing is more positive. Zuckerberg also discussed his desire to transform the company's services into a discovery engine, where users' feeds will be more driven by recommendations which he believes will help the company compete with TikTok. However, he also stated that Meta's costly investments in the metaverse would eventually pay off, citing the company's ongoing ad revenue issues due to Apple's changes. Nevertheless, investors have remained skeptical of Zuckerberg's emphasis on the metaverse, with one large shareholder recently declaring that the company has lost investor confidence. Let us know your views about Meta and your expectations in the comments below. And for more Meta updates, the latest trends, as well as a review of the MetaQuest Pro, subscribe to MetaHub now.